guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're really not going to be doing anything special. I am basically just going to be putting on makeup and talking to you guys and I'm actually really anxious to get going because I have not worn any sort of foundation face makeup on my face in over a month. Which is crazy to me. I, like, you know, I don't wear makeup in my everyday life, but I at least wear it every once in a while. And to go this long without having, like, a full beat on, I don't know my life right now. And, you know, I've just been so busy with, like, dog grooming and stuff. And if you're a dog groomer, then you know that any sort of makeup on your face, dog hair is going to stick to it, especially mascara. So, I just haven't really worn any. And today is the day where I have nothing going on. It's a cloudy, rainy day. And I am going to be putting on a full face of makeup. I am so excited. You have no idea. I actually have a new beauty blender to use today. This one is the Real Techniques. And I don't know if you can see, but it's one of those like fuzzy ones. So we're going to try this with foundation today and see how it works. So if you guys want to hear a few little life updates and all that stuff going on with me, how dog grooming is going, I have a couple funny stories with that, um, and just, you know, hang out with me, talk to me, do your makeup with me, you know, whatever, then uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm very, very, very excited. I so first, I'm going to go in with some primer, and for that, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. I really, really like this stuff. This primer combined with their setting powder makes your face look flawless. Oh my gosh, I have not used a primer in so long. So I'm just going to take about that much and really kind of lather up my skin. Oh, bitch. Oh, that feels so good. Now, the hardest part about this is finding a foundation that I want to use because one of my like guilty pleasures whenever I go to like the store is I always go into the makeup aisle and the foundation aisle and if I see one that looks interesting or one that I haven't tried before I always buy it so I think out of everything besides like my Jeffree Star stuff I think a majority of the products that I have our foundations. I think today I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. This is one of my other favorites that I have in my collection. I have so many of these. This foundation is amazing. Probably my second favorite to the Believe Beauty one. And I'm just going to... I don't know if I picked the right color, but I don't even care. I don't even care. I zoomed you guys in a little bit closer and we are going to give this beauty blender a run. See how it goes because when I bought this on the package it said that uh, it was for like powder products but I'm a rebel with the cause, okay? So definitely didn't choose the right color out of my drawer so we'll just have to blend down the neck. But I definitely thought I was a lot tanner than I am because this foundation is a little too dark. I should have gone with the um, fair beige and not the buff beige. Since the color is a little bit dark, we are going to go in and lighten it up with some concealer. I'm just going to go in with my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Concealer. This is in the shade C7. Man, I was not kidding when I said I wanted to put foundation on today because I am looking like a goddamn cake. It's okay, we'll get it worked out, we'll make it work. We always do, no matter what. That's just what you do. You innovate, you create, appreciate. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder. This is probably my favorite setting powder to ever exist on the market. Of course, I have other cheaper ones that are good as well, but since I used the Laura Mercier primer, I really wanna use the powder. And I'm just going to go in and literally set everything so it's like concrete on my face. Oh, and this just such a good job of just like buffing your skin and literally making it look like Photoshop. It's amazing. Boom, and the face is completely set now. Oh my gosh, okay. 
See, I told you we'd get it worked out. I told you we'd get somewhere. Also, yes, we're gonna address the elephant in the room for those of you who have not seen that video. My side cut is back. I recently shaved it again a couple of days ago. I filmed myself doing it and I did upload a video of it on my channel. So it is on there. So if you wanna see me, you know, shave my head, then go check that video out because it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. I'm really glad that I filmed it. At first I wasn't going to, and then I was like, hang on a minute. Like, come on, girl. Like, you have to film that. Like, the side cut is, like, OG legendary on my channel. So also, a little update on my ears. My ears currently right now are at a one gauge. I did not film this stretch because I feel like, you know, especially for, like, the in-between sizes, I feel like it's just so fast, easy, and simple that it just kind of gets redundant. So I did not film myself putting in the one gauge plugs, but as you can see, they are at a one gauge. They're getting pretty big. And the next size that we're gonna get to after this is a zero gauge, which was my first original goal size. So we're very, 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 very close. I'm hoping within about another four to six weeks, we will be at a zero gauge. But they were a little um, sore and tender, like the first couple of days after I did it. Uh, which is normal. I've had that happen before, but I just thought that was weird because they slid right in perfectly fine. Next thing that we're going to do before we move on to brows is I am going to bronze just a little bit because obviously, like, you know, we don't need that much color. We already have way too much. And I'm just going to take that up into my temples a little bit. And just down the sides of my cheeks. As you can see there, we just have a little bit more dimension to our face and it's not just one flat color. Next, I am going to quickly do my brows really quick. And again, I have not filled in my eyebrows in quite a while. I did groom them last night, like I did pluck them and got rid of any stray hairs. Because uh, I knew I was going to be filming today, so I didn't want to have any like, you know, crazy ass brows. Uh, I'm just going to use my CoverGirl pomade brow shit. Alright, so there are my brows. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to look like somebody again. Oh, yes, as most of you probably know by now, I am in school to become a dog groomer and just recently I officially passed level one of school. There are a total of three levels and I just passed level one which is basically like a groom tech position. Basically we go over like bathing techniques, correct drying techniques for curly wavy coats, for straight coats, smooth coats, you know, anything like that. Basically, you just learn how to bathe, brush, clip nails, clean ears, do a natural foot, uh, just little things like that. So basically with that certificate, I could easily go into a grooming salon and apply for like a groomer's assistant position, but I decided to continue my journey. So I am officially on level two. I'm about 56% done with the online stuff and I am still in the grooming salon that I was able to get into for more hands-on experience and practice and things like that. And oh my gosh, you guys, like, I remember someone leaving me a comment one time and they were like, you have to go to school to become a dog groomer. And at first I was like, you know, I guess that does seem kind of silly. But now that I'm actually in it and now that I'm actually doing it, you're fucking A right you have to go to school to become a dog groomer. There is so much more to it than people think. Like, it's not just like, give your dog a bath and put a bow on its on its neck. Like, no, it is so much more than that. So in level two, I'm basically learning about haircuts, like blade it all, guard it all, um, head shapes, uh, different feet styles, different ear styles, how to cut them, things like that. And oh my God, it is so incredibly overwhelming. Like I can't even tell you guys. I'm very, very, very overwhelmed. And I know, I know it's normal because I'm learning. You know, I don't exactly know what I'm doing 100% yet. Um, I mean, it's going well. Like I'm getting a lot of tips from the groomers at the groomer salon, and I'm getting a lot of you know experience. But I just like. I literally feel like it's one of those things where it's like, am I ever going to like get this? Because you know, when I watch the groomer do a dog, you know, she's just like bing, bang, boom, like, like it's nothing, you know? And I'm just like, wow, I cannot wait to get to that point. Because So I just want someone out there, someone out there who is a dog groomer to please give me some peace of mind, give me some reassurance that this is all going to get easier. I'm gonna be able to do a full on haircut on a dog in about an hour without second guessing myself because right now I'm just like, how, 
like I don't know if I can do this like I don't know if this is for me like I'm freaking out and don't get me wrong I absolutely love it I'm having a great time I you know I get a little overwhelmed and I'm someone who doesn't take criticism very well like I really struggle with that I'm a very sensitive person so whenever someone gives me like constructive criticism I almost take it as like you know a personal attack on me and it's definitely not that's just like my own like up here issues it's not a personal attack on me but it's just like oh I just want to be good at this like I just want to do this you know what I mean because I hate being bad at things level two is definitely a lot harder than level one and I'm sure level three is going to be a lot harder than level two but that's just where I'm at right now and oh my gosh oh my gosh this is probably and please tell me if you've ever done this before so I groomed two dogs the other day I did a bladed all 7f on a golden retriever and then I had a little shih tzu who got a 5f shaved down and when I, I did the golden retriever first and I was doing his feet which he's a golden retriever so he gets natural feet and there's a certain technique that you need to do for that now when you have a shih tzu a shih tzu typically gets rounded feet so they have like the cute little puffy feet you know what I mean well <laughs> I'm still so embarrassed about this like and it was honestly like it, it was a mistake and I'm sure like it's happened before and it'll happen again but I was doing the Shih Tzu's feet and instead of thinking logically, thinking, okay, you're doing a Shih Tzu so they do not get natural feet, they get round feet. Guess who gave a Shih Tzu natural feet? If you're a dog groomer, like, I'm sure you're, like, shaking your head or laughing with me because I was so embarrassed. Like, I did one front foot and I was totally in the mindset of just, like, natural foot mode. So I started, like, pulling all the hair up between the toes, cutting it all off, you know, shaping it. And then when I put the Shih Tzu's foot down on the table, it looked like little rat feet. I, like, I think I have a picture I'm going to show you because I completely, like, destroyed poor dog's foot and you know it's not a big deal like I'm new I'm learning and it was honestly just a stupid mindless mistake that I shouldn't have done so there are the feet that I gave the shih tzu <laughs> you are not supposed to see their toes like that unless of course like the owner asked for them like that but they are literally like let me show you what they're supposed to look like Here's the other Shih Tzu that I did. They're supposed to look like that. Cute little round feet. And I gave a Shih Tzu rat feet. So that was an experience. And, you know, I, I laughed about it. I joked about it. I apologized, of course. And I was like, you know, I wasn't thinking. I honestly should have thought. I should have stopped. Taking a second and realized that a Shih Tzu gets round feet and not natural feet. So I felt so incredibly bad. I think the number one thing that I struggle with is the sanit the sanitization trims up by like the tuck up in the flank area. If you know nothing about dog grooming, this is probably like boring as hell for you to listen to, but I don't know why I struggle so much with that because I think I'm just so afraid of cutting a dog that I, that little like flap of skin. And I know you can like maneuver the body so you can get to it better, but I just really struggle with that. And same with armpits. Armpits, flank slash tuck up area and legs I can't stand like I can shave the body no problem like watch me do that shit I can take a 7f 5f 4f guard I can shave your dog but once we get to like the legs and all that stuff I'm not that good at and the only way that I can do it correctly it just takes way too damn long and I can't be taking that long in a grooming salon you know like Time is money. You can't be spending three hours on one dog, okay? So it's just, it's definitely a learning process. It's definitely a lot more than I ever thought it was. And especially like with all the different breeds of dogs that there are and all of the different techniques that there are, it's just extremely overwhelming. All right, and for blush, I'm just going to go in really quickly with this Sephora one. It's just like a neutral pink color um, because I don't know what I'm going to be doing for eyeshadow yet so I just want to keep the blush color a little more on the natural side. Okay, so for my eyes I have ooh actually yes I do. Oh, recently in a PR package and I did unbox this in one of my vlogs but I received this little quad from Pixie and look at how pretty these glitters are. And I really want to use them on my eyeballs today. I just don't know what color I want to use. Do I want to do another purple look? 
So I think the palette that I'm going to use today is the Beauty Killer Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This was the first palette that he ever came out with, with his brand. And we just have a lot of really fun colors in here. I've honestly only used this palette a couple of times. And as you can see, the shade Courtney is the shade that I've used a lot because it's the most natural. I know there is a lot of controversy and I know there is a lot of talk about what's going on with Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, all that crap, but... Honestly, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to use the makeup because I like the makeup. The, I'm not making this about the person. I just really want to use these eyeshadows, okay? So I know a lot of people don't like that I'm going to be using Jeffree Star Cosmetics, but I'm using it because I like the makeup. Great formulas. Regardless of who Jeffree is as a person, the man knows how to do proper formulas, okay? So... That's my little rant on that. Um, I am going to go in with the shade Courtney, and I'm going to start warming up the crease a little bit. I'm not going to use any eyeshadow primer today just because I'm not feeling it. Yeah, this is like the first day in probably a month that I've been able to actually sit down and dedicate to filming videos for my channel because I've always been the kind of YouTuber that is like a serial filmer, editor, uploader. Like I have videos scheduled like a month out sometimes. Like I'm just always on top of my game. And you know, lately I've been so busy because like Monday, Tuesday, I'm at the grooming salon and then sometimes I'm there Wednesdays and then I work at my coffee shop job Thursday, Fridays. And then on the weekends, I'm usually out of town with my boyfriend or I'm doing something else. So it's just been hard to like balance everything. So I made sure that my schedule was completely clear today so that I could just sit down and focusing and focus on YouTube videos. And let me tell you, this feels so good. Like I literally feel like I'm at home. YouTube is just my thing, you know what I mean? And yes, I may not be super duper famous. I may not get a million views per video, but I don't care about that because you know, I've been doing YouTube for so, so long now. I think it's like eight years now that I've been doing YouTube. And to be perfectly honest with you, I don't know, I don't know who I am without YouTube. And I know that may sound incredibly cheesy, but regardless of the numbers and, you know, the, the things like that, I just, I, I genuinely enjoy doing it. Now, granted, and I don't know how the fuck this happened, but I've been very, very successful with my YouTube channel. Like, we're almost to 241,000 subscribers. If you can hear the uh, trash truck outside, I'm so sorry. They never pick up trash this late in the day, so I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Just being able to sit down, turn my lights on, turn my camera on, just feels absolutely amazing. I Oh, I, I miss this so much. I guess all I'm trying to say is just thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for making this possible for me to sit down and film videos because I just love it. Even if I only get like, you know, 200 views a video or less, like at least I'm able to do something that I love, that I'm passionate about. And I just, I love it. I love it so, so much. Okay, I think next I'm going to go in with the shade Princess right here. Oh my gosh, it almost matches my nail color. <laughs> How funny. I'm going to take that and just put that all over the eyelid. I honestly think this is my first time using this color since I've had this palette. And then I think the next shade I'm going to go in with is the one right next to Princess, which is this purple one, which is in the shade Violence. And I'm going to put that on... I think I'm going to do the outer corners for now. I might put it in the inner corner. I just haven't really decided yet. So yeah, I'm just going to lightly... Tap that into the outer corner a little bit just to kind of deepen it up. And then I think I'm going to go in with the kind of purpley glitter in this quad over top of Princess. All right, so I'm just going to leave that for a second. I'm going to put some black eyeliner on my water lines really quick because I can't have a whole makeup look without any sort of black eyeliner. I'm just going to bring that purple kind of down on the lower lash line as well. I have such a bad feeling that my skin is going to break out like crazy in the next couple of days because it, it has been so long since I've worn eye makeup, or not eye makeup, face makeup, that when I take this off, my skin's being like, why the hell did you suffocate me again? We had a good thing going, and then you had to put that shit all over my face. So we'll have to see how... Uh, 
how badly I break out the next couple of days. So if you guys see any future videos where I'm just a pizza face, we'll know why. And then I'm using the same brush that we used for Princess, and I'm just kind of sweeping back and forth very lightly to kind of blend the darker purple into that color. Now it is time for some glitter. And like I said, I'm going to go in with this purple glitter right here, if it'll focus, there we go. Look how beautiful, oh my gosh, I can't wait to use it. Camera keeps wanting to focus on the little skull faces and it keeps focusing on like one individual skull and I'm like, hee hee, I'm the one filming here. Ooh. Oh my god, Pixie! Way to fuck me up, bro. Is this not the most gorgeous thing you've ever fucking seen? Like, if I had a Barbie doll, I imagine that this is what, like, her eyeshadow would look like. Put your hands up if you remember when my channel name was Brienne Barbie! <laughs> god. I fucking hated that name. I first had it on, as my channel name, I really liked it because, you know, I was a platinum blonde and I had that really big Barbie necklace. And then as I got older and dyed my hair darker and just started to, I don't know, grow out of that, I was like, wow, this channel name is fucking dumb. So I changed it. But, you know, if I was still Brienne Barbie, what an appropriate look. I seriously, Next time you go to the store, first of all, wear a mask. Second of all, get this palette. It is the Pixie Glittery Eye Glittery Eye Quad in Rose Bronze. I'm gonna put it right here on the screen. Take a screenshot, go to the store right now, get this, you need this. These glitters are absolutely amazing. And I almost kinda wanna do like a purple eyeliner. I do have one. I don't know if it's gonna work, cause I don't know how old it is, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. This is by Wet n Wild. It is really pretty. This is in the shade Electric Purple. Literally one dollar at the store, you guys. One dollar. One dollar! Glitter definitely does give some sort of fallout. So I mean, if you're really liking that like fall down glittery look, kind of like your crying unicorn piss, then these glitters are freaking awesome. I mean, I don't really care about that. I think they look freaking amazing, and I like the little touch of purple eyeliner. I think it gives a little something, a little pizzazz. Before we go and finish off the eyes with some mascara, I did quickly want to highlight. And for that one, I think I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Cosmetic Skin Frost, and this is in the shade Lavender Snow right here. Just looks like that. And it's a really nice purple color, so I'm just going to take like a light dusting of this. And just pop that. Alright, just like that. Just gives a nice little like purple hue. I'm actually going to take a little bit of this and pop it up in my brow bone. I was looking just now trying to find this highlighter and I was looking at all of my other Jeffree Star Skin Frosts and um... I think I've come to the conclusion that Jeffrey just needs to stop collabing with people because I have like him and Nate's collaboration, which they broke up, and then I have the Manny one, which we all know what happened there. So it's like, I don't know, man, if I had my makeup brand, like if I had my own makeup, Empire makeup brand, whatever the fuck you want to call it, I don't think I would really collab with people because... I feel like once you collab with somebody and you start mixing business and money and if you're already friends, I just feel like that makes things really, really complicated and I'm just not a fan. So I was just, I don't know, I just had to say that because I was just looking and I was like, hmm, he should really stop collabing with people. <laughs> Alright, so here are the eyes completely done with mascara. Holy God, mascara is such a game changer because literally it just takes your eyes to the next level. And then I think the only other thing that we have to do is lips and setting spray. So for the lips, ugh, I don't know what I want to do. I was thinking of like kind of matching the eyes a little bit, but I don't really think I'm feeling all that ballsy. So, hmm. Am I just gonna be boring and just keep it nude again? Possibly. First, I'm just going to outline my lips a little bit with this LA Colors Lip Liner Pencil, and this is in the shade Cappuccino. 
Okay, does anyone else have an eye that does this? But this eye right here, always in the inner corner, always leaks and runs and burns. Like, every single time. It doesn't matter what I put on it. It... it it's, I am going to take this Liquid Lip by Pixie, And then it says something else on the front, but I honestly don't know. Pixie plus Miriam... I don't even know. Uh, and this is in the shade Posh Nude. I absolutely love this lip color. I've worn this a couple of times as well, and it's really, really pretty. Oh my gosh, do you see what I mean? It's just such a pretty color. I love it so much. All right, guys, so here is the finished look. All we need to do left is some setting spray. And really quickly, can I just vent about a setting spray that I hate and hate with like a capital H? hate this one. Okay, so literally when Morphe and Jeffree collabed and they released this setting spray, I was really excited about it because one, I've heard a lot of really good things about Morphe setting spray and two, it smells like strawberries and three, it's Jeffree Star. So like, duh, I was automatically drawn to it, right? So I went the longest time without trying it. I didn't order it. And then one day I happened to stumble in, into an Ulta and I saw it sitting there and I was like, oh, I'm going to get that today and I'm actually going to try it. So I tried it immediately right when I got in the car because I was like, I need to see what all the hype is about. So I tried it and I was like, oh, this is really nice. Like it smells really good. I'm so sorry about this eye. If you see it like twitching, it won't stop watering. So I don't really know what to do about that. I was like, oh, this is really nice. It smells good. It's refreshing. And then about 10 minutes later, I went to run my hands through my hair. And oh my God, it was the most disgusting feeling ever. This stuff makes your hair, like if you, pretty much if you're going to use this setting spray, you need to wear like a fucking shower cap because if this gets in your hair, it makes your hair just feel absolutely disgusting. And I tried it a few times after that and I just didn't like it. I don't like the way, I just, I don't like the way it sprays. Like you have no control. It kind of just comes out and does this and it just gets in your hair. It doesn't even go on your face. So, um, we're not, eh, should I use it today? Just like for fuck's sake. Let me put my fucking hair back because otherwise it's going to make my hair feel like absolute dick ass. Oh, this stuff. I hate it. It doesn't even smell good anymore. It just smells like chemicals. Also, if you get this shit in your eye, I've done that before. Oh my god, rest in peace. Dig your grave. Put your tombstone up because that shit burns like a mother. Like it just got on my arm right here. And it's like sticky. It's disgusting. Really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you had fun hanging out with me. I hope you had fun listening to all of my little rants. Hopefully you guys were able to sit down, chill, relax, do your makeup with me. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you go down and give this video a huge thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it really does help my channel out a lot. Also make sure you go down and leave me a comment about what's going on in your life, what's new, what's exciting. And if you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, I just want to welcome you. Make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe button. I do upload every three to four days on this channel. I love you guys so, so, so much more than you know, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!